There's a specific body of knowledge that helps us understand this process of fossilization known as taphonomy. Taphonomy is the study of the process from how an individual goes from being a living, breathing organism to something that we might recover in the fossil record. It tries to investigate that process of death, eventually decay, or perhaps fossilization that individuals go through. It's important because all of that information in this taphonomic process, what happens to an individual after it dies, how it might get distributed and moved about, potentially informs what kind of information we're able to get out of that fossil when we recover it. So when we're going through an excavation, when we're excavating materials out of the ground, being able to understand the taphonomic processes that led to them being there in the condition that they're in can be highly informative. For example, we might find a bone that, as a fossil, has been highly weathered. The exterior of it's cracked from sun or from heat or from wind exposure, and that tells us that that specimen sat on the surface of the ground for a long time. That's important once we've recovered it because it tells us how exactly this individual died and ended up being buried. It wasn't in an immediate process. This individual, for example, wasn't buried in this context, but rather it took a while for this specimen to become buried and ultimately fossilized. Likewise, it can tell us something about, for example, how well preserved the surface of a specimen is and whether or not we can see certain kinds of evidence out of it. By the time we get in the last two and a half million years, one of the things we're interested in is not just understanding the human fossil record, but those fossils that we find in association with humans. Oftentimes, these fossils are organisms that humans have butchered in some way. Evidence of that butchery is preserved in the cut marks that we find on the surface of those bones. Understanding, however, the taphonomic process that led to that specimen being fossilized lets us know whether or not we have that information available to us. We don't want to accidentally mistake some other kind of natural taphonomic feature with a human intentional cut mark on a specimen. We want to be able to differentiate those two things. So understanding how taphonomy works, how things go from living, breathing organisms to fossils preserved in the fossil record, is an important first layer of understanding that helps us interpret the fossil record.